This is one of multiple videos discussing new features available in Genius 3 2.2. Now a feature I get asked about all the time are these new symbols available in Genius 3. In a lot of my quiz questions and a lot of my videos, I'm using these symbols and a lot of people wanna know how to change their symbols in Genius 3 topologies to look like this. Now, use the link below this video if you're using an older version of Genius 3, in other words, Genius 3 2.1. In the video below, I show you how to change your Genius 3 topology to use these symbols. But the great thing is Genius 3 version 2.2 now has these symbols built in. As an example, if I drag a VPCS device to the Genius 3 workspace, at the moment, it's using one of the old traditional symbols. But I can right click on that and click change symbol. And now I can use built in symbols such as the affinity symbols. So I could go for affinity circle blue or gray or red or square with different colors. Or I could use custom symbols. So as an example, let's go for circle blue, and then I could specify a client and click OK. So now I've changed that symbol in GNS3. Now you can do that on a individual basis. You can also do that on templates. So right click on a template and click configure template. And notice here, I can see the symbol that's currently used but I could change that once again to something else. So let's say I'd rather use red for my routers and I can actually just search here for router. So router like that, click okay, click okay. Now this router is using a red square symbol. So that's the second way to change it. But you can actually go to edit preferences and change this globally in GNS3. So symbol theme for new templates. So let's choose square blue. So affinity square blue and click OK. Notice now when I add a new template, for instance, for routers, notice the symbols have changed. So now if I add this to my Genius 3 topology, it's gonna be using the new symbol. I'm gonna install this on my remote server in this example and click next, click next, click next, click yes to install and click finish. I need to give it a different name. So let's say blue, click okay. And notice there it is. So when I drag it in, notice the new symbol is used. So these symbols are now part of Genius 3 version 2.2 the old method of changing the symbols was a lot more convoluted. There was a lot of steps that you had to do. You had to download the templates. You had to change them into the right format. It was a lot harder. Now these are built directly in to Genius 3 2.2. It's a fantastic new feature. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really does help me. Again, I'm David Bumble. Want to wish you all the very best. Get it done.